Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Keigo Moriyama Photography. Today, because uh, it's impossible to go out for the COVID, as well as uh, because it's raining here in Japan for more than a month, it's really stressful. Uh, I want to show you what is the uh, flow that I usually do to scan the uh, photos. And uh, I'm going to use uh, some pictures that I took exactly a year ago, uh, August 2019, uh, with the Fuji TX1, and that honestly I never had chance to scan uh, and uh, so I really don't know exactly uh, how they uh, they came out. Uh, in my workflow, I usually use uh, the Epson GTX 900 that I have uh, here with me, and uh, I'm using as a software the Silverfast uh, version 8. And all the pictures that are uh, scanned, uh, then I will process uh, using Luminar 4. Uh, I'm one of the ambassador of this software and uh, if you are interested to uh, try it out you can simply download with the link below and if you will use the code Keigo you will have uh, a discount in the uh, purchase of the software itself. So uh, let's move to uh, Silverfast and uh, let's start checking out uh, the uh, photos. So we are going to do a print scan first that uh, will show uh, exactly the image that you you can visualize now uh, because I have uh, run it before and uh, let make it scan finish the pre-scan okay and what we are going to do uh, as soon as uh, this pre-scan is done is to start uh, selecting one by one the pictures that we want to uh, be scanned. In this case we want all of them uh, so but because they will be done one by one we simply draw around them the uh, hedge that will uh, allow the uh, scanner to understand which area it has to scan. The one with the, in the night, of course, are a little bit more difficult to uh, to understand. But uh, in order to do that, we are going to move to the uh, zoom. But first of all, uh, as a, a dimension of this uh, uh, picture, uh, let's move the resolution up to the, I think uh, 1800 should be okay, uh, 300 ppi okay. And uh, let's, uh, for example, choose Photoshop as a, a type of uh, um, file and let's save them for example in the desktop new folder and let's say scan px1 okay okay here we are then let's see this densitometer uh sorry here is uh, uh, in Italian of course uh, we don't need it and so we can simply uh, skip it same as for a uh, picture setting we are not going to touch it and uh, as a, a negafix uh, it will ask what is the type of uh, uh, film that we have used uh, in this case we are we used uh, uh, a Kodak uh, it's a gold and the ISO is 200 and I will not touch anything more. For the uh, contrast stuff I will delete it because I don't want uh, the scanner to do uh, stuff for me. Uh, then I'm going to zoom 
and as you can see I can uh, try to make uh, the area, the selection of the area more precise then uh, we are going to uh, the navigator that will allow us to change the uh, frame that we want to uh, focus on and while we are going to refine the size this is done so we go to the next one we don't need uh, the scanner to do all the uh, review And after we have set up uh, the information for each frame, what we are going to do is uh, uh, to scan the whole uh, sequence. Uh, it asks us where do you want to put it. Uh, we already have our uh, folder that is here and scan. And that, of course, uh, we need to wait that all the uh, picture will be scanned. Now that all the pictures are finally uh, scanned, and trust me, it took so long, uh, what we have to do is to practically import inside the uh, Luminar for the uh, picture themselves. So, in order to do that, we are going to click on folders and then uh, we add uh, the uh, folder that uh, we used to put uh, the uh, picture that we have uh, uh, just scanned. And we can see uh, here all the picture uh, selected and what we have to do is to simply click on the bottom right here and on edit and we can start uh, editing uh, the picture. What I usually do uh, in this case uh, we have to uh, rotate to the right okay uh, I usually use uh, uh, the essential tabs as well as the uh, pro tabs. For the essential one on the light uh, I usually play with the contrast, I like it and uh, based on how is the picture I try to change the uh, exposure I usually like a little bit darker one uh, let's check the highlight a little bit less and same for the shadow and we can play with the histogram here but I usually go to AI Enhance And uh, on the AI Enhance, I give a little bit of accent and then same for AI Structure. Color based on what is the type of uh, picture, but I tend to remove a little bit of vibrance. In this case, it's not black and white, we don't, we don't need it. For Details Enhance, I usually use uh, the medium one. The noise uh, just a little bit for color and uh, luminosity. And uh, in this case, uh, that's all. I usually, it depends by the picture, of course. In this case, uh, it's not landscape, so uh, even if we are used this one, it's not uh, uh, providing too much enhancement as we want. After that, I go to Pro, and as advanced contrast, I play with this uh, highlight contrast, mid tones contrast. And shadow contrast and that's all uh, sometimes I play with the other um, dodge and burn color enhancement uh, photo filtering or split toning but uh, again it depends usually by the type of uh, uh, picture and uh, so I will now continue to uh, use a luminar for the remaining uh, photos and uh, you will see the final uh, results directly.
okay guys that's all for me and i hope you enjoy the video i hope you enjoy the pictures and as usual till next time stay click bye